I finally finished reading Sora 2 of the Quran for the very first time, which, as many of you will know, is also the longest Sora within the entire scripture, which perhaps provides sufficient explanation as to why my first time reading of the Sora has taken five parts to make. With this in mind, today I looked at Islam as a way of life, with Sora 2 quite significantly outlining the five pillars of Islam for the very first time, with these being the Shahada, the belief that there is only one God, the establishment of prayer, giving charity, fasting during the month of Ramadan, and also performing Hajj, which is the pilgrimage to Mecca. We also learn about the articles of faith in Islam, which are outlined as the belief in Allah, the belief in the Day of Judgment, the belief in the angels, the belief in the scripture, and the belief in all the prophets that came before us. The term Muslim is also outlined simply as meaning one who submits to Allah. A physical shift relating to the Qubla is also mentioned here, with the Qubla meaning the direction in which Muslims pray to during prayer. Moreover, the direction of the Qubla is changed from Jerusalem to Mecca, which was the original Qubla during the time of Abraham. Sora then goes on to forbid us from eating pork, drinking alcohol, or gambling. On a familial level, clarification is provided in relation to the laws on marriage, divorce, and wills. Guidance is also provided on giving charity and prioritizing who we give it to. On a societal level, clarification is given regarding laws on contracts, business, and finance. Laws that deal with crime, such as murder, are also mentioned, with the importance of establishing justice being described as crucial. Rules are then also provided on how to engage with enemy in warfare, as well as when war is justified and against whom. It's said that this culmination of laws helps to establish Islam as a way of life and shows us what a Muslim society should look like. It is believed that these laws are intended to keep us on a straight path and to prevent us from going astray. The Sora then concluding with a prayer, asking God to forgive us and to guide us to the straight path.